Happy Valentine's Day, Captains, and welcome back to the channel. It's Jaeger262, and this is going to be a World of Warships video. Now, I usually just cover World of Tanks, and I just did a video for their Valentine's Day event. So, if you play World of Tanks, please go check that out. But, for this game, not a lot is happening in terms of event bonuses, boosts, or sales. However, aside from the normal 50% for every first victory of the day, there are some cosmetics and some other treats you can get for this game if you just go onto the launcher or go onto the World of Warships website and click the Bachelor's Guide to Ships. Now, it's just a fun article that gives you tips and tricks if you're a new player like myself who only has some low tier ships and if you click on them or click on each of the steps some of them will offer you cool cosmetics. Now I've only picked up two so far I didn't really look at what the other ones were but for participating you will get to have two Valentine's Day camouflages now it's just a nice red and white camo you got hearts on the ship and of course the World of Warships logo and you get a cosmetic flag now I did not know these had been added into the game but essentially it is a second flag, doesn't do anything like signals and it won't go away, it is part of a permanent cosmetic system that just goes right next to the nation's flag and for today the Valentine's Day flag is just these pink lips. So kind of cool, nothing too crazy, I know World of Tanks is having a bunch of sales and some gold discounts and stuff like that but also not bad, it's always nice to have some extra things to put on your ships. Now, I don't know how many of you guys actually will be watching for World of Warships. Like I said, I mostly do World of Tanks, but if you like this video, let me know in the comment section below, and I will continue to make videos about this game, because I do play it just as much as I play World of Tanks. And there's some news to cover if you're new to the game that are interesting. For example, this is the Royal Navy Hawkins. That is a brand new ship, part of a brand new tech tree that was just added for the update that came out two days ago of British oh I'm sorry there are discounts I completely forgot there are discounts for all ships of all tiers 50 all the way to tier 5 and then I believe 15 and above or 40 and above I should probably check that yeah I'd say like 15% off for tier 6 and up now that is a part of the introduction of the heavy cruisers so in the game, most cruiser tech trees all play to one end. There are some heavy cruisers or some light cruisers mixed in, but generally it's just one tech tree. World of Warships with update 1.9 took the initiative to start adding in new heavy cruisers as their own ship or branch. Now they still show up just as cruisers, and I don't know if they're going to come for any other nations, but for the UK right now, you can get tiers 5 through 10 are all brand new ships and you can unlock them through the tier 4 Dana. I think that's how you say that. This ship right here. Starting with the Hawkins going all the way to Goliath. Now as far as the Hawkins goes, just real quick, plays the same as the Dana or the um, I forgot his name already, Emerald. So if you already have this ship and you're already moving down towards the Leander, don't worry about it. But I shouldn't say that. I mean, if you don't play those ships, don't worry about it. But if you do play those, and you have the Emerald, and you enjoyed it, do get the Hawkins, because it plays the same. Now, once you get to the Devonshire, I'm sure it'll start changing. For me, the models and the actual modules on the ships themselves don't really get too distinctive from the previous cruiser line until about Tier 8, where you start to really see that these are more heavy pocket battleship style cruisers instead of the quick hitting fast firing British model that you're probably used to. But really cool so check those out if you you like heavy cruisers. If not and you don't even play the UK don't worry I believe every nation yep every nation is having a sale right now all the ships in the game. So go read that article Bachelor's Guide to Ships on their website get your free cosmetic items and other free goodies that are available, I didn't look at all of them, and then get into the game and buy any ships you've been grinding on, if there's a particular ship you have wanted for a long time and you've already unlocked it but just don't have the credits, it's on sale. 
right, so thank you so much for watching. Again, let me know in the comment section below if you want to see more World of Warship videos. I don't know how big the community is in North America. I don't know too much about it yet. I've been playing for only about a year or so. Well, two years now. But I would love to make more videos about it. I love this game. It's actually really cool and I really enjoy it. And I am loving the new Heavy Cruiser line. So, as always, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time.